I just had a kiosk conversation with the kiosk under the code of the Colombian because it's the Uncle Cold River. So I called Tiafrio a Colombian. I don't know what a real Colombian looks like, but whatever. It works for the vernacular glued together on the file of like, Who's talking about her marrying a Colombian? Why'd you know that in, like, 1978? Yeah, why were you taking a spin on the Wheel of Fortune for something wants nothing to do with you and knows that you are definitely not, if you have yellow bio oil signature, supposed to be touching anything? I mean, we called you yellow bellies, Livy, I was liv, lily liver, yeah, okay, whatever. Lilies are white, so that I know of. I've never seen a yellow lily. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, right, so I asked Mr. Tifrio, if I say to you, refractal, <clears throat> what is your port to nowhere? What does that mean to you? And he's like, uh, well, change is light. I'm like, well, that's good. Actually, I like that answer. That's, that's impressive, actually, for him. Um, so I'm like, okay, so... It changes light. Like, how does it change light? I was like, is it like a change, like with a a circle with like a squiggly? Or is it like a change, like more of like a triangle? Like, what kind of change, Aunt? And he's like, I don't know, like like glass. Like, when it goes through glass. I'm like, what happens when it goes through glass, Aunt? Like, uh, verbal. And he's like, well, I I don't know. Like, it goes through glass and then it just refracts and changes the light. I'm like, that's his... All right, I was like, so it could go Delta either way. I was like, that's all you got? And he's like, yeah, what more is there? I'm like, nope, I'm good. Thank you. Sometimes you're helpful. And then I walked away. Uh, so I'm just making a verbal note on that because I know that when my actual uh, born four husband came, not the disgusting toilet paper Colombian refractal conversation that's named Moore and McDonald along with Uncle Cold and Tia Frio from a Naples that's not really Italian, but whatever they claim that they are. And he says he went to, he went to military school. <laughs> no, he didn't. He went to kindergarten, uh, got thrown out, and it was like uh, boys' sleepaway camp for juvenile delinquents, but not like the good juvenile delinquents in Sunflower Territory. It was like, really, they... Well, he has a prison number, like a real prison number. Not like prism, but prison with a 97 on it. He went away. Back loser from the radio. Yeah, that one. Um, Anyway, so when the Catons conversations started appearing on the Broadway radio of Broad Channel to all of New York City, like Lady Gaga, poke her in the face. Yeah, it's every time I look at you, you're poking me in the face with something. I'm just trying to poke back and go, like, is it alive? No, no, it's just living. All right, what do you want? Because your living is programmed on a computer. Yeah, that's why you have all those towers and servers. You gave up your right to think and speak on this planet. That's what you bought when you bought computers and cell phones. And you gave... The Asians' boats to go sailing on uh, military ships out to ports. A problem, which we've also told you about, but you don't like to fucking listen. They're touching all sorts of triangulation equipment. They're not allowed to touch, but I mean, I've seen it through my refractal heads up report. They still part of my life because they reprogram some things that they're playing around with that they're not allowed to put, play around with because the next thing is it's going to light the Hadron Kaleidoscope and go pshh. Because you're going to have one electron that gets off of the spinny wheel of electron rotators that they can't keep track of at the moment. And it's going to light up. Because it's going to be going light speed through its rotation. And all of a sudden, one of the seals are going to go pink. And the whole fucking thing's going to go doink. And it'll go out and in. And then you guys will no longer exist. Right? Because you're playing with space and time. And you're playing with... Uh, little router, little rowdy machines of like, yeah, why does my internet not go so fast? Yeah, it's because you're not really, you're in a space and time that doesn't really exist. It sits here for the moment. Depends on how they play the wheel of timing while they're trying to learn how to get off this planet. Because they're like trapped here and like a once in a lifetime, we got them all in one spot. Can you just go evaporate them all for me and do the rest of the universe? <laughs> 
of the clusters of clusterfuck what the fuck that like to come back to this planet and not be in yellow signature. They even hate coming here. It's like the it, it's like no, don't send me to prison planet. Oh god, they got the weird ones. It tastes weird. Yeah. And so now I got a group of them that are trying to figure out how to get off this planet, but nobody out there wants them out there. And nobody here is, like, awake enough to fucking kill enough of them to get them off the boats, off the water, off the machines, off mechanics. They go back to, like, pedicure. They go to farming. They go to pencils and pens, a protractor, no Texas instrument calculators and calculus. They don't need to know it. They need to know how to farm and climb a mountain with their feet. That's it. Go back to those days. At this point, I'm almost ready to take their electric right off the fucking grid as well because I got problems with electrons going all over the place and the only way they're able to do it is now via regular machines. I got stupid hackers going like, oh, that's a good idea. Let me see if I can find that. And then they're moving ones and zeros that they're not even allowed to know in binary that's then going out into other universal virtual space via a rolly mouse that they're not allowed to have. I mean, you guys have all these machines. You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. I got so much scotch tape in a space-time continuum problem because... But, I mean, we told you all this up ahead. I know you're all like, I don't really see... Uh, what's a server? Huh? Yeah, okay, so now you have a server... But it doesn't make you move any faster, because now they have the servers, and they wrote over your human intellect code. Stupid! We fucking told you that. That's why we sent you pictures. I said, this is what a server looks like. Make sure it never happens. Yeah. That's how space and time works when, like, you're not one of these, nor do you want to be one of these. You're actually alive amongst what they call lifing or living. Oh, uh, yeah, you got one live wire, and you've got lots of trip wires poking her in the face daily, uh, which then sends mechanics elsewhere off into, like, wheel of they don't know what skin they belong in anymore and why they can't get anything they want accomplished. Can somebody just come for me? Like, is there another? I know Hitler's alive. I'm alive. He's alive. And there's, like, a whole lot of, like, 7.5 billion lives. Of zero importance. Why are two alives living apart and 7.5 billion lives enjoying whatever they do? I mean, nobody has a good answer. Uh, it's more of a rhetoric, really, because there's only him. And if I talk to him, he's like, uh. Oh. Right. So, why does he have to wait? Like. Which life is more important than his? I'm just curious. Which life is more important than his alive? Because uh, I'm saying there's none. He's saying there's none. But yet there's some lives that think that everybody should listen to them. So. Can somebody help Hitler kill a whole lot of lives so he can come to me? I mean, what's it going to take, really? You're running out of time.